it's a battle of the American remakes of some great Japanese horror movies. And we're getting down with some ladies with a grudge. And if you like it, you should have put a ring on it right here on Monster Movie Mashup. Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk. We talk movies. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Don't be mad what you're I'm sorry, I'm just getting really into the song. Because, yeah, if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. This might not be the most appropriate song, but it did have ring in it. <laughs> I think it's very appropriate. I think it works, even though the ring is terrible. <laughs> See, they're already getting into it over here. I'm your host, Lucretia Lyon, guys, and you can always find me at L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N anywhere on the internet since there is only one. But I am joined by two lovely ladies here. Let's start with my far left over there. Alrighty, I'm Renee. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Renee Ariel and on Snapchat at the Renee Ariel and check out my blog, CatsLipstickLA.com. But I'll hurry up because I don't want Sam to hold a grudge. <laughs> Too late, Renee. Hey guys, I'm Sam Davidson. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Samd43. I'm in the chat too, so we'd love to hear what you guys think about these movies. Yeah, and they're already starting in the chat roll here, you know, arguing as well. So let's just get into it. All right. I think we're going to start with Sam here. Oh, me. What do you think about The Grudge? I know you love it. I do. Uh, the No, listen. The Grudge mm -hmm. is a fun horror flick. I find it very more sad than scary. But, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. My cat's name is Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so SMG. I'm mm -hmm. going to love it regardless and you know it, it's a fascinating story and definitely creepy okay renee mm -hmm. what are you rebuttal looking at? Mm -hmm. the ring is so much better the grudge is not scary mm -hmm. i'm sorry i don't think it's scary when someone pops out and just goes uh oh interesting like keep it quiet but the ring on the other hand scarred most of my childhood i watched it in fourth grade so well done. What a unique storyline. How creepy is it? Someone comes out of your TV in seven days, calls you every seven days with a creepy voice being like, seven days, six, like that's terrifying. No one uses the phone anymore, so it'd be like a red alert if someone called you with an unknown number. I'd be like, it's obviously Samara. It's a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those telemarketers, <laughs> obviously Samara. <laughs> obviously Samara. <laughs> Both do have a general theme yeah. of dead children, uh, you know, which a lot of horror movies do. But I feel like both, well, The Grudge was after The Ring, but this was the start of, like, the scary movie genre of, like, dead children. <laughs> right? Dead ghost children. Yeah, for, you know, certainly a resurgence of that. Uh, you know, in the early 2000s, they started doing, you know, remakes of these Japanese horror movies, uh, which was really great. And they're also kind of scary because they are a little bit more realistic. I mean, if you believe in the supernatural, like certainly your house having so much bad blood in it is something that, I mean, I certainly felt that when I was a kid. I'm outing myself as like a weirdo. But yeah, like you want to you wanna know the history of your house because to me, the grudge is definitely is something that could happen with all that evil energy but the ring too i'm the kind of person that finds a random tape i'd watch it if i got a vcr that's oh. so scary yeah. and then the only way to survive is by spreading that around that's <laughs> terrifying <laughs> you gotta kill other people yeah <laughs> but what if the ring was present day and it was just a youtube video yeah, and then it would always like come after, like say a popcorn talk video or an after Buzz TV video, <laughs> we're gonna and then we're viewers. just gonna die. I know. <laughs> yeah, right. That's how we get the people in. It's like, yeah, it's like, uh, oh, if you have it on automatic, that's the next video that plays. Just trick people. Mm-hmm. Well, I do like what you said about the house, like houses, and mm -hmm. you know, I have sage. <laughs> so if I ever hopefully move into a house one day, I will sage the place like crazy, but sometimes ignorance is bliss and I'd rather not know what happened in my house if it was scary. <laughs> but if things started going on like they did on The Grudge, I think I'd do some research. Okay, like, yeah. rule number one, if you find a little boy in your attic, like, maybe leave. Like, maybe <laughs> don't stay at that house. You know? She could have avoided this whole situation. Well, if it's already an escrow, I mean, the thing <laughs> is, is, like, you're just screwed. That's why, you know, I always want to investigate and see if it's a murder house. Plus, you get a murder house discount. That's a real thing. Oh, I it's know. It's all about the bargain. You know, someone's yeah. Someone's died there. You uh, get, a, get a discount. And that's a theme in, a, like, American Horror Story now, you know? It's like, why can't they just leave because they're a young couple and they put all of their money into the house? Yeah. 
totally understandable, Renee. I don't know. I just, I mean, it's just a little boy coming around. I, okay, the creepiest part of the grudge, I will say, is when they, like, walk all weird. But, like, that's it to me. That's the only part I was like, that's freaky, because I wouldn't want to see that in real life. The rest of it, nah. <laughs> Yeah, um, the Stegman says, the grudge is worse. She she doesn't even give you seven-day warnings. You die whenever. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, okay, the grudge versus the ring. So the reason Samara did what she did was pretty calculated. With the grudge, um, it, but it was more random, which makes it scarier. No, mm-hmm. it's scary that you could be raising a like mm-hmm. a child psychopath who wants to hurt people, <laughs> and then you think, oh, okay, this is terrible. The mother should not have killed Samara. But even after you're like, it's over. She's not gonna kill people. She comes back and she does, <laughs> and her body's still in the well. And then she comes out of the well in the comfort of your own living room. Yeah, this is like passions gone wrong uh, with the girl in the well. And Star Drew has some funny comments. If someone tries to vote the grudge, this is a sad day indeed. The ring, Agreed. you are not sure if either did save the girl or doom all mankind. <laughs> yup. I'm telling you, Samara is a creepy little girl. And we don't really get to see her as ghost mm-hmm. Samara until like the very end. And when you see that eye, I mean, I believe we had a picture of it actually on our before we mm-hmm. started st- streaming. I'm sorry, I have nightmares just looking at that picture. But then, fast forward to some grudge talk, they have some, like, eyeliner around their eyes, and they just go, uh. Like, what are you more scared of? That's... Some bad makeup or a creepy ghost girl? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, first of all, I just want to say that I think when we finally saw Samara in ghost form, she looked like she'd gone through puberty, grown a couple inches, and she looked different. That's even scarier. So she's just, like, growing down there in hell, or wherever yeah. she is. But at least with the grudge, they had a re- a real reason for, you know, being pissed and being stuck in that house. And that is a nightmare in itself, being stuck, your spirit being stuck in that Samara house. Samara was murdered in a well. Mm-hmm. You don't think she has a good excuse for revenge? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty By her own too. mother. She was <laughs> murdered by her mother. That didn't even get, I'm sorry, she wasn't even murdered by her mother. She was uh, att- attempted, it was attempted murder. Then she had to live in a well for seven days trying to scratch her way up. There was, there was a nail in the well. That's disgusting. I know you <laughs> loved that part. Oh, that part really grosses me out. It's like she broke a nail. That Look was at that. That's a real tragedy. Oh my god, that's her, that's her coming out partially. That's terrifying. Yeah. I never want to see a well again because of this movie. <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about that. I know. In it's 2016. Yeah. It's fine. We're in Southern California. It's 2016. It's Los Angeles. It's okay. <laughs> this stag man said, you don't even need to be in the house. If you know someone who was in the house, you can die. <laughs> True. Good point. Makes it even scarier, if you ask me. Yeah, in Chaos, uh, 13212 says, was it Samara an evil child anyway? That's why her mother she, threw her in the well? Okay, <laughs> yes, she was. But here's the thing. You should 100% never kill your child. But she was, like, in this, um, like, psych ward. And she was like, I want to hurt people. Mm-hmm. I can't control it. That is terrifying. That is some Dr. Phil stuff right there. <laughs> that is something I'd watch on the show. Honestly, okay, actually, viewers, um, please look up clips of, like, evil children on Dr. Phil. It is terrifying. So this could really happen. Uh, <laughs> have you done this? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I became obsessed with, like, evil kids that they talked about on Dr. Phil. And I watched so many. And these kids are terrifying like it makes me worried one day if i have a child that my kid's gonna grow up to be a serial killer like samara and like she is an overachiever serial killer i mean like she just knocks so many birds out with one stone yeah i mean you know especially if we do another ring that you know is a youtube video that's yeah. the thing she could kill a lot of people maybe that's what the, is that what the new one is it like present day type of stuff with that is it yeah a, i mean but do it we won't. know it's definitely present day, I think, and it won't be a VHS tape, that's for sure. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> over those days. Even I don't have a VCR anymore. Yeah, I barely really used DVDs. I could watch yeah. the movie if I tried. <laughs> what do you want me to watch it on? Yeah, totally. I agree with that. It could be like a Netflix short. <laughs> yeah, oh, Netflix. Netflix. Terrifying. <laughs> Everyone's going to get killed by this little girl. And then, like, every. Okay, here's the other thing. Sure, these people get killed right away. That's a short. A short death. That's a quick, painless death. Well, probably painful, but whatever. Mm-hmm. My point is, imagine seven days of paranoia, just waiting for it. Every day, there's going to be a new creepy thing that's going to happen to you. That 
For someone that has bad anxiety, <laughs> that gives me more anxiety. That's awful. Yeah, because almost the ignorance is bliss in that. Like, you're like, oh, well, I know I'm going to die in seven days unless I don't uh, share this with other people who then could die. But yeah. I would start sending it to people I don't like. <laughs> but yeah. that's the way to save yourself. <laughs> yeah. Copy it and then give it to someone. You're yeah. like, nah, bye. Uh, bye, Felicia. Kaios1312 <laughs> said, I actually kind of feel bad for the people on the grudge. <laughs> I kind of did, too. I yeah. feel bad for the people in the ring. She mm. lost her ex-husband yeah this segment has some really good comments i remember uh, like she made a girl's husband commit suicide he didn't even go at the house at all he, the wife did talking about the grudge and then and then he brings up the ring dr phil versus samara dawn of intervention <laughs> <laughs> it is it's a it's a bit of more of a mind a mind like a movie that messes with your brain no. yeah yeah that one screwed me up i can't say um, but yeah, it messes with your brain more and it makes you feel sad for the people from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's another big thing, speaking of that. With The Grudge, when you watch it, you're terrified, but you did not step foot in that house. Therefore, you will not feel like you're going to die. In The Ring, you've watched the tape that will um, apparently kill you in seven days, so you feel... Every day, you're, like, counting it down, like, may happen this time, may die in seven days. That is real fear, my but friends. You're doing, like, all this awesome stuff that you said. All, you're doing your bucket list, at least. That's me. I was like, all right, if I'm going to die in seven days, yeah. well, I'm going to go to Amsterdam or something like uh -huh. that. You or... wouldn't try to solve the mystery so you don't die, like, the lead eh, in the ring? Let's just Maybe. say someone was like, Good time to yeah. check out the bucket well, list. There's, there's no way you have no choice. Then I would be with you, Lucretia. I'd be like, mm. okay, fine. I'm going to do something crazy and spending every cent that I have. And, like uh, Queen Latifah did in Last Holiday. Oh, yeah. Such a good movie. That movie is so underrated. That's Sarah's yeah. favorite movie from Disney Movie News. <laughs> and that's when I had my follow-up, my favorite movie, uh, Scream. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, and we saw Scream all yeah, last yes. two weeks ago on my <laughs> yeah. birthday. That's a good one. So Another good I, one. How much I love Scream. But it's, Scream is a movie that doesn't haunt you after. Yeah. The Ring haunts you after. Yeah, uh, Renee and I both rewatched The Grudge and the and the, <laughs> <laughs> the Grudge and The Ring the other night, and uh, I had nightmares all night long. Like I, it was so scary. I thought my door was unlocked. I kept on going to check my door. <laughs> I went like in my underwear in the middle of the night to check my door that it was locked like five times, and then I woke up being like. Ah! That's me on a regular terrifying. night when I'm, like, not even scared because I just feel like I'm forgetful. and I'll, I always have it locked, always, and bolted, but I always feel like, well, what if tonight's the night I forgot? Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a big, scary dog. Plus, I'm also in the middle of the building, so if anyone's going to rob and kill anyone, I'm like, well, it's going to take them a while to get to me. Yeah. That's all I think As it. you know, I'm right yeah. at the top when you walk in yeah. on the first yeah. one. <laughs> And uh, I also, there's a red awning that basically leads to my apartment, so it's basically like The Shining. You yeah, know? just telling you to go kill you. Yeah, red rum, mm. red rum, just kill her. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah, Chaos13212 uh, has some pretty uh, interesting theories here. He's like, you know, for the grudge, because if you die a violent death, you're stuck here and angry. Although, I think the woman in the grudge was also a stalker. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good point. And I love uh, those relationships that are the professor with the student and mm. things go wrong. I mean, has anyone ever seen What Lies Beneath? One of oh, my favorite movies mm. of all time. And it's such a, you know, and the guy that I'm blanking on his name right now that plays the professor, I love him. He, mm -hmm. what, uh, what is that? While You Were Sleeping, one of my favorite movies. He's usually a good guy, but this, he was a bad guy. Mm. I wish we had gotten a little bit more of that backstory, I will say but I agree with whoever said that because she was a bit of a stalker, but didn't deserve to die, and neither did her poor child. The child was the saddest part, obviously. Yeah, the, that, that's the thing, though. This movie is more of a tragedy than it is a horror film. Mm, it is pretty creepy, though. There was a while when I watched it, I think, when I was younger, I had a hard time showering. <laughs> okay, like, she was in bed, and then she saw the covers move, and then it's not... To me, it's just, like, very anticlimactic the way it happens. Like, honestly, I would not jump 
Well, I'd probably jump because, like, what is happening? But it's not that scary. If someone coming up just like, I'd be like, what do you want? Like, make words. I don't understand what you're saying. Like, Samara doesn't even need to talk. You know what she she wants revenge. These people, I don't know what's, what do you, can you, t- words, please? I don't know what you're saying. It's even worse that they're going, because it's like, why are you, are you actually trying to scare me? Like, that's why you're making the noise? Because that's actually Because sad. she was hung and couldn't breathe. Oh. Yeah, oh. but, like, that's not implied while she's doing it. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I wouldn't be like, oh, my gosh, is this because you're a ghost and you're hung? And, like, mm-hmm. that's why you're making that. Like, that wouldn't be my first thought. No, so I'd be like, yeah, I would be like that, too. Like, what do you want? Tell me what you want. Right? And like, then maybe I can fix up. it. Like, deadbeat. <laughs> but, yeah, Bill Pullman is who you were thinking of. That Bill Pullman. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I love him. I, I Yeah, huge fan. Huge mm-hmm. fan of his. And it was fun to see him be kind of creepy and weird. Yeah, and Chaos13212 also gives us some thoughts on the ring. He's like, but I think the rules of survival in the ring also kind of suck. In order to save yourself, you have to damn someone else. (laughs) How awful is that, You're going to go to hell eventually for doing that in the first place. So So you're just making my point. It's even scarier. Hmm. You don't just have to think about this lifetime. You should think about the afterlife time. You're ruined. Most people Hmm. don't think about that, though. You did. I'm a and freak. you're on Team Grudge. <laughs> I always think about what I would do as a ghost. I would, like, screw with people. Like, oh, God. Would you make I'd a videotape and make everyone die in seven days? No, but I would, like, target, <laughs> like, hockey long teams I didn't like to make sure they lose. It's <laughs> good. It's good. Yeah, and Forrest Grove Space is a pretty big compliment. I love that there's three pretty women talking about horror movies. Me and my wife love watching horror movies. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much, Forest Groves. Yeah. <laughs> After that, uh, Star Drew said, Three Stooges pook the eyes. Are you talking about us? Mm-hmm. No, us? I think he's talking about what you do when the ghost comes. Like, Oh. Um. Oh, I get it now. We're not yeah. the Three Stooges. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. This all makes sense. <laughs> Don't worry, in the Evil Dead show, we, we do an After Buzz on Sunday. That's your Three Stooges type shows. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Well, as far as ghosts and setting them free, you know, I think both movies try and then they don't succeed. The humans are so stupid. Humans. I mean, (laughs) just the the living are stupid because they're like, oh, if I do this and, you know, settle the debt that, you know, they had, then they'll stop killing. Okay, but, like, walk through how your people did that and I'll walk through how my people did that (laughs) and we'll see the difference of what was scarier to um, face. So what did um, what did your people do? They went to the attic. They what did they do? <laughs> How they set them free? I'm sorry, my girl. I'm, maybe you don't know. My girl fell down a well <laughs> and was holding the dead body it and couldn't work. get out. Didn't That's work. That's terrifying. That is way scarier than like, oh, it's in the brain. Like, <laughs> and then when she sets her free, that's so much worse. And then you think it's okay. And then the little boy, her son, her creepy son that calls her Rachel. Like, maybe not address her by... Whatever. I, I have friends that do that as well. But anyways. Really? Doesn't even call... It's creepy because he's, like, eight. And he's, like, Rachel. Like, it's your mom. Um, and he was, like, why would you do that? Don't you get it? She never sleeps. This is, again, why I'm not having children. <laughs> Between Samara and Rachel's son, I cannot. Yeah, my brother went through a brief period where he called her dad by his first name. But it was, like... And he was a teenager, and it was just funny because it annoyed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. When we yeah. did that with my parents, he would be like, if you do that again, I'm going to not pay for your college, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I, okay, I do, I will say this. I love the ring. It really scares me. I, I love the grudge, too. I like the ring as well. Do you like the grudge, too? But um, as much as I love Amber Tamblin, I don't think anyone liked The Grudge too. Yeah. Am I right, guys? Not that many people yeah. like The Grudge. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Amber Tamblin the one at the beginning of the first Grudge? Yep. Though? Mm-hmm. So then, but she died. Didn't she die? Um, or her friend died. Yeah, her friend died, and then they bring her back in the second one. I, I uh, also fell asleep in the theater. It was pretty bad. Yeah, it. You know, this mm-hmm. one is a little more of a slower burn. Right? Yeah, really. We're still waiting mm-hmm. for it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That burn, though, was quick. <laughs> but at least in my movie, The Grudge, they got to the bottom of what happened. Yeah, that's a happy ending, not scary. Oh, no. This is called mm-hmm. monster movie mashup, not like, we're going to make everything better movie mashup. <laughs> <laughs> this is not forgiveness. 
Oh man, Renee, have you seen your therapist? This week? <laughs> no, <laughs> I was just like, um, uh, another creepy thing in the ring. I'll say that everyone will agree with the drawings that the kid did, okay in any movie when a kid draws like a creepy drawing that has to do with the, like in Bubba Duck doesn't the kid mm-hmm. I believe the kid draws Bubba Duck or whoever that is um in this movie he just freaking draws like circles to draw like the well <laughs> it's mm. terrifying if I came home and my kid was like on the living room floor like drawing in circles I would be like oh my god is it too late to put him up for adoption <laughs> <laughs> now you sound like my mom <laughs> Well, Star Drew does say The Ring 2 is a lot better than The Grudge 2. I'm not defending The Grudge 2. <laughs> yeah. But you're right, Star Drew. <laughs> Ring 2. Yeah, I think good. we're all in agreement with that. Because like, Ring 2 still is at least somewhat in with the first one. The Grudge 2 really made no sense to me. I was like, okay, so there's a different house now. and like yeah. I can't keep up what they're no. trying to do. They tried so hard. That's the no. thing. I'll give, the, I'll give you credit for this. The Grudge tried really, really hard. It just didn't succeed. <laughs> Renee, you are so hard. <laughs> Is this not a the ring versus the grudge? Okay. I okay. just thought it was about did I did that mean I win? Is I that what I hate you right oh, now? No. I literally hate you. I love all horror I love most horror movies. <laughs> I get enjoyment out of them. I got enjoyment out of the ring. I got enjoyment. From the Grudge. <laughs> Grudge had a great cast. Yeah. Really, really superb cast. Naomi Watts was great in the ring, but I mean, that's really all they got. Now, the Grudge, on the other hand, as well. When all you have to say is how great the cast was in a horror film. It's just an aspect of the film that's important <laughs> to talk about, Renee. I think the cast of The Ring was pretty great as well. Mm, okay. That little boy was, tr- like, I'm scared of him. Like, that was great casting. That little boy was so cute, yet so terrifying, because you're like, What's wrong with him? <laughs> he's and is he right or crazy? Kid. Yeah. Her ex was sexy as hell. It was sad to see him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that see that's the thing. I loved the ending of the ring because they did it. It wasn't just like you felt when you thought it was the climax, it wasn't. Like you were like, okay, well this that's the end. They they saved her, everything's going to stop. And you kind of think that is the end because it was even creepy the way that happened. You're like, that scared me. So what are what else would they possibly do? Then the scene with her, um, Rachel and her son in bed, and then her son says, like, no, what are you doing? You set her, whatever, set her free. I cannot remember it verbatim, but then we see the poor ex not get killed in this version, but we, I mean, we know what happened, and we get to see her come out of the TV, and the face, the face that they would all make when they died, and we get that at the very end, I believe, when they were, when they were talking about the different faces, I can't remember exactly, but they did go, throw back to the different, like, <gasps> faces that were terrifying. Like, those faces... Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> what? One more time. <laughs> <laughs> For those listening, Renee just gave me a kissy face. Yep. Yeah, I'm only... I don't make, like, weird, gross faces, ever. Um, but yeah, so that's, like, to me, that is what I'd want in a horror film. If I am, you know, maybe invite a few friends over and we want to, like, pee our pants. It's going to be the ring, not the grudge. Because even after, the aftermath is so much worse than just the movie itself. And the movie itself was already pretty, pretty terrifying. Okay. All right, I can see that. And Star Drew does agree that the cast of Grudge is a little bit better than the ring. I will give you that. Thank you. The cast was all right. I'll I'll tell you, uh, the cast was good in the the Grudge. But I just don't think they understood um, how the movie would work out after. Like, I don't think they knew it's not going to be that successful. It was though. Yeah, I mean the first grudge did pretty well. Mm-hmm. I don't I didn't look at the numbers, but as far as it was pretty even with the ring. And now the sequel I mean, I didn't even realize there was a grudge three. I that you know, it must have been a direct to D V D. But ring. everyone knows there's a new ring movie coming yeah. out. Do you see mm-hmm. the point? Do you see the point that I'm like everyone it's still it's still a thing. Here's my question, Sam. Mm-hmm. The other night when we watched these movies, what what kept you up at night? When you couldn't sleep. Which one? <laughs> was it The Haunted House or Samara? Be honest. It was a combination of the two. I really? created my own horror movie in my head of a combination of The Ring and The Grudge. The Rudge. Mm. That's right. The Rudge. Yep. We should make that. The Ring. Like, it's kind of like scary <laughs> movie because it'll be funny, but I think all horror movies are funny in some way. Except I, Lake Placid. That's, that's really scary, guys. Yeah. What? I love scary mm. horror movies. Those that's are my favorite. Scary. 
Well, it's it's a giant alligator in the lake, so it's like a, a oh, pretty scary see those, thing. When it's yeah. more realistic, it yeah. really, really, really freaks me out. But when I was in fourth grade, I mean, the, I thought the ring was realistic. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I still think it's a little realistic sometimes. Yeah. I'm just saying. I mean, it'd be really scary if that could actually happen. The ring? Mm -hmm. Yes. See, that's why I love vampires, because I know that they don't exist, and they're sexy. They don't scare me. Mm. I'm totally cool with vampires, and they're entertaining to watch. That's why I like them, because, you know, they don't terrify me. I know. I had a dream about vampires and Dean Winters for some reason last I've night. I've had some it, nice dreams mm -hmm. about vampires. Yeah. I can't get much. into the whole vampire trend. Well. Yeah. I will say Twilight sucks, because they don't sparkle. But it was True Blood, so Angel, bad. all those. Vampire excellent. Diaries, Buffy. Oh, yeah. I have not watched Vampire Diaries. I've heard Buffy was really great. And you say Vampire Diaries is really great. Yes, the Vampire Diaries it's is on Netflix. really Netflix. check it out. <laughs> I know, I was like, enough about vampires, because we could go on and on, I know. I can list all the sexy ones, but we will be doing Dracula versus Frankenstein next week here, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, but Forrest Grove wants to know, uh, what movie do we think should be remade? The Grudge, The Ring, you know, or, you know, get a new sequel? Remade or get a new sequel? Mm -hmm. But, like, exactly. doesn't have to be either of these movies? Because um, the ring is already two, yeah. Oh well, they're already doing a new one. So. Yeah, with the ring, they are uh, currently making a new one. It's called. Well, no, it's already. It's mm -hmm. coming out yeah. like very, very soon, soon. I believe yeah. it's called the Rings movie. I honestly haven't even seen the trailer because that's how scared I am of this movie. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It took me three times of watching it to finally be like kind of numbed. At this point, like I, I'm not. I. The first time I watched it, I was very convinced I was going to die. The second time I watched it, I was a little convinced it's possible this time maybe it didn't work the first time that she's going to come get me. The last time we watched it, I mean, I, I, we had spaghetti and wine and Oreos, so I, like, wasn't, I, I wasn't <laughs> as terrified afterwards. I was like, I just felt full and, like, happy, you know? <laughs> like, with the trailer, you don't know if you watch it, you're going to die in seven days unless you share it with other people. So I'm so that's scared. What it was Wait, you've worrying. seen the trailer? Uh, no, I said, because, yeah, I'm like, okay, no one's you might seen die. Yeah. Do you see what Maybe I'm saying here, guys? Trailer. If the Grudge Three had a trailer, I uh, they had the Grudge Three. Apparently, yeah. See, it no came one... out in 2009. I don't even remember that. <laughs> I would watch it for like kicks, but the Rings movie actually like genuinely freaks me out, and I'm I'm like a little scared to watch it because I don't I don't. Know. What are they gonna do at this point? They okay for its time, especially it was a very freaky movie. Now it's 2016. I can't imagine what at like. Oh my gosh, they're gonna keep me up for the rest of my life. I'm gonna have to go to group therapy for everyone else that's seen this movie, and the therapist is gonna have to be like. You're not going to die in seven days. Like, how do you know you haven't seen the tape? Well, I think with The Grudge, it still seems too soon to have a remake. I'm not talking about sequels. I think it'd be fun to remake The Grudge. And make in it good? a different country. Not Japan. I know it's a Japanese film originally. Mm -hmm. I get that. But how fun would it be if it was just, like, more dynamic? If it was, you know... Maybe in the U.S. and it was like a British person that came in and like was visiting and doing all this stuff. I don't know. Just put it in a different location, I think, and with you know newer actors could be could be creepy and could be fun. Especially now after American Horror Story and all this stuff, Murder House is a thing. People are fascinated by it. I think it'd be fun to like just restart from the beginning. Yeah, because that is something like, you know, not necessarily a sequel sequel, more like, say, they did with the Evil Dead, uh, you know, remake and things mm -hmm. like that. And yeah. there are some movies that have been sort of remade recently or like continuations or just different iterations like with the superhero movies that The Grudge, we could see that like being anywhere. Yeah, I actually agree with that. You yeah. know, they can try again. <laughs> yeah. And Rings, do uh, the ring... <laughs> Sequel is out February 3rd, 2017, and it has Vincent D'Onofrio in it. That sounds really Right gosh. before Valentine's Day, I'm going to yeah. take my How boyfriend. How romantic. <laughs> my cat. <laughs> <laughs> take puppy. I'll yeah. take Frankie. Uh, <laughs> yes, that, well, that'll be sweet. Cat date. Oh. To go see the the Rings movie. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my gosh. Actually, I think we should all watch the Rings movie trailer after this I together. I don't want to die. You guys can watch it on your own. <laughs> Would you watch the Grudge Three trailer? Yeah, but we're not gonna die yeah, if we it's watch not that. Yeah, scary. <laughs> I was like, I don't even think they have a trailer at this point. 2009, and none of us knew it happened. Yeah, <laughs> but everyone knew about. I'm. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. The Rings trailer. <gasps> All right. I'm really excited and scared a little. 
Yeah, and Star Drew points out while we're waiting on that, you would know of the end game of the grudge, but the ring is a question mark. That kind Exactly. Of, yeah. It's not predictable. Like that did anyone else see that ending coming for those of you that did not see the original? I d I had no idea that he was going to I honestly thought that was the end. And then and then the way that they ended it also leaving it they did such a beautiful job leaving that open ended, so now other people have to watch that movie. Set up for so many sequels. Oh, we're watching the, mm -hmm. oh, Grudge, the Grudge 3 first. This okay, will be yeah, great. Sure, right. we, let's do we're it. Like, this happened and no one knew about it. Was it in theaters? Is that a mean question? I, I, I honestly don't oh, know. Oh, wait, wow. when was this made? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm already shaking. Well, visually it looks a bit The whole time I was in that house, I felt something was wrong. Then it was reborn. Oh, it was reborn. Mm. What do you want? See, that would be us, Lucretia, when he goes, uh, what would no. you want? <laughs> now, he's here. It's where you live. If the curse is not stopped, more people will die. Hey. People are dying and you're acting like nothing is happening. No matter what you hear, no matter what you see, it won't <laughs> stop. <laughs> the Grudge 3. Man, their theme song could be uh, We Can't Stop by Miley Cyrus. Oh my god. So fun. Yeah, and it is, I do believe it was a direct to DVD. <laughs> I'm not defending yeah, the Grudge no. 3, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see the, the Rings movie, shall I? Do we have time? Yeah. Why not? Stand by. I don't want to go, I don't want to die. <laughs> see, you're already traumatized. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm also scared. And I, because I have no idea what this movie is going to be about really i mean aside from the the plot that we already know will still exist but like i don't know I, d I don't think it's the same cast i don't think any of them are the same no it does say like vincent d'onofrio johnny galecki from big bang theory uh so it's got some pretty big actors in it and oh, i can read the little storyline julia becomes worried about her boyfriend holt when he explores the dark urban legend of a mysterious no! videotape said to kill the watcher seven days after viewing oh. she sacrifices herself to save her boyfriend girl no and doing so <laughs> right makes a horrifying that. discovery <laughs> Oh, there is, is a movie within a movie. <laughs> oh, it's like Inception, but... Inception. But not. Yeah. But scary. But not as good at all. That's right, guys. Well... That was the first diss you <laughs> tried, I think. <laughs> Renee is going to be in a world of pain later. That's yeah. all I have to say, you guys. Uh, oh my gosh, is this it? Um, guys, I'm... I hope they don't show the tape. I really hope Ugh. they don't. Like, but I feel like they'll, I feel they'll I start with the ring. It. <laughs> yeah, just close your eyes or wear some sunglasses. Guys, the winner know. should be so clear, just like this moment right now. She can't even watch the trailer. I don't want to die. The Rings trailer. All oh right, my God, oh my here God, is oh the God, Rings oh trailer. I'm scared, guys. It. I'm honestly afraid. Oh, my God. You're not real! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. You're not real. No! 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 <laughs> this is this oh my gosh! Is Come on, we gotta get up. <laughs> oh, you know this is going to be well done because they don't make the other scenes look like all blue because they don't have to. It's already scary. Oh, see, it is a video clip. Kills you seven days after you watch it. We totally wrote this movie without even knowing it. You're welcome. The second it's over, the phone rings. And this boy says, <laughs> That's when she's coming for me. Seven the day, seven day, seven you want to know about the girl in the well? Seven, seven what does she want from me? This mark on your hand, it says rebirth. Ew! 
Ew. Oh yeah, the hair. The hair, guys. That's disgusting. Julia, what do you offer me? Oh my gosh. She's here. You've opened up a door. There's and now no one is safe. Guys. You know, in the ring, the one thing I always said was like, why don't they go out to a public place at, like on the seventh day? And now that just ruined every bit of comfort that I had. Yeah. They should just that was my terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know if I'll see that. Good, until I hope the... you have nightmares. <laughs> All right. Um, unfortunately, we, we do have to wrap up. So, speaking of bad blood, ladies, unfortunately, the chat roll and Twitter seem to agree that the ring is better. That's a high five to all you smart people out there. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm your host, Lucretia Lyon. You can always find me at L A C R E T I A L Y O N anywhere on the internet since there is only one. But there isn't just one of me. Uh, tell them where they can keep up the conversation with you ladies. Hey guys, I'm Renee Ariel and you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Renee Ariel, on Snapchat at the Renee Ariel, and check out my blog, catslipstickla.com. And you guys can find me, Sam Davidson, SamD43, Twitter and Instagram, Sam Davidson 25 on Snapchat, and then SamDavidsonEntertainment.com. All right, we'll be here, same bat time, same bat channel next week for Dracula vs. Frankenstein with Lex Michael and Joelle Monique. Thanks so much for mashing up with us, guys. Bye! Bye. <laughs> From producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire Popcorn Talk Network, we would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit PopcornTalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only, do not necessarily reflect the views of the Popcorn Talk Network or its owners or principals.